Hey Guitar Geeks, Guitar Guts back, today showing you how to wire a Seymour Duncan pickup in both series and parallel. Now, um, if you have a Seymour Duncan pickup that you're going to install in a guitar like this uh, Jackson guitar I have here, I've already got a couple of Duncans in there that I like a lot. If you're installing it in a guitar and you just want to do the standard humbucker wiring, uh, that's called series wiring, and it's probably the most common, the most used uh, by guitarists. And this runs the humbucker at full power. Uh, of course, it's hum canceling. Uh, and the way you wire it up with the Seymour Duncan pickup, it, the lead colors will be different if you switch to a different brand. But with the Seymour Duncan, the black lead wire is your hot output and needs to be wired to your output switch. The red and white wires get... Uh, soldered together and covered with electrician's tape and taped back to the black insulation wire that covers the other lead wires. Uh, just fold that back out of the way so it can't touch anything. The green and bare wire are soldered together and they go to ground. You can wire those to the back of the pot or any other ground that you happen to have handy while you're wiring that up. So that's normal series wiring and it'll give you the humbucker the way it was, I suppose, intended uh, when the manufacturer made it. But there is another way to wire up a humbucker and it's called parallel wiring. Um, now why, why would you want to consider parallel wiring if the humbucker was made to run in series wiring configuration? Well, there's a few advantages to parallel depending on what you're wanting out of your humbucker. Uh, if your humbucker has a little too much power, or if you've changed your mind about the style of music that you want to play, and your humbucker might be uh, might be too powerful for the style of music that you're playing now, parallel wiring lowers the output just a little bit and gives you a pickup with slightly less power. Um, and in some situations, that can be really good. Uh, the pickups usually end up slightly brighter as well. Now, in my experience, some pickups end up slightly brighter in parallel, and others, I really can't tell much difference in brightness, although I can always tell a difference in power. Uh, and the good thing about wiring in parallel is it's still hum, hum canceling. So you've got a pickup that has a little bit less output, might be slightly brighter, uh, and you've still got all the benefits of hum canceling from the humbucking pickup. So here's how you do parallel wiring with Seymour Duncan pickups. Um... The black and red are soldered together and they become the hot output. Both of those wires together would be soldered to, to your um, hot output on your switch. The green and white wires are soldered together and uh, they go to ground. And the bare wire in this case is also ground. Now you can wire it together with the green and white and have three wires um, soldered at the same time going to ground or you can solder it to a different place just depends on what's most convenient to you but all three of those wires go to ground and the black and red are your hot in this case so there you have it it's not that hard to do uh, it's easy to experiment around with and you can get some additional tones out of a pickup that you may have been considering getting rid of because it's not doing what you want it to do um, if you've got one that's too hot and you wanted a lower power pickup don't toss that pickup quite yet. Try the parallel wiring and see what you think about it before you get rid of it. It might save you some money. Well, I hope that helped. I hope you got some tips from the video. If you like what you're seeing, leave us a comment in the comment section. Any questions are always appreciated. And thanks so much for watching.